Hello, this is Simon from BoltonGuitar.co.uk and this is part one of my tutorial on how to play Minuet in D Major Opus 11 number 5 by Fernando Soy. Uh, now the first thing you need to do is drop the 6th string uh, down to D. Um, you can either do that with an electronic tuner or you can play the octave D on the 4th string and lower that 6th string until you get it sounding an octave lower than the 4th string. Uh, now, to continue, uh, this composition is in the key of D major and it's in 3-4 time. And we're starting by playing um, a sequence of semi-quaver slurs on the 5th string um, along with the open 6th string bass note. So we start with the little finger on the 5th fret of the 5th string. Bite that up by placing the 2nd finger on the 5th string 4th fret. So you've got both fingers placed in preparation. Now, with the right hand thumb, we strike across the two strings and then slur the little finger off to sound the C sharp at the 4th fret on the 5th string. So we play that as now we play the 5th string again and then on the 2nd beat we're placing the little finger back on the D at the 5th fret, 5th string. So it's um, on the second half of the 2nd beat we need to get the 1st finger onto the A on the 3rd string 2nd fret and the 3rd finger onto F sharp on the 4th string 4th fret and we play those together. And you actually play them three times. So we're playing. I'll play that again. So that's one and two and three and. Uh, now the first two beats of bar two are exactly the same as the first two beats of bar one. Now, on the third beat, we play the A and the F sharp again. And then on the second half of the third beat in bar two, we place the second finger onto the third string, third fret, which is A sharp. So that would now give us. Play that again. On the third bar, um, we've then playing our sixth string, third string, and second string open. And then on the second half of your first beat, we need to place the second finger on the second string third fret and the third finger on the fourth string, uh, sorry, on the third string fourth fret. So that's it. Drop those two fingers back a fret, so the second finger is now at the second uh, fret and the third finger is at the third fret, on the same strings, so that's keeping those fingers down, we slide those up to the uh, fifth fret, second string and sixth fret, third string. Dropping those back to our original D and B at the third fret and fourth fret, and then we take the fingers off. So that is. So. So I'll play that from bar one. And at bar four, um, we're playing G sharp on the third string first fret with the first finger and the third finger plays the E sharp or F natural on the fourth string third fret and we're playing the sixth string fourth string and third string together giving us that strange discordant which resolves up a 
fret to the A at the second fret, third string, and F sharp at the uh, fourth fret, fourth string. So that's. So our first four bars are now. And at bar five, we have a chord of D major, but we're playing um, as a partial bar chord, or half bar chord, at the seventh fret covering th three strings. And we're placing the little finger on the first string, 10th fret onto the D. So we're now playing the fourth, third, second, and first strings, and we play two chords. On the uh, second beat, we now place the first finger on the fourth string, seventh fret. Drop the little finger back, you don't need to take it off, just drop that finger back down to the ninth fret, to the C sharp. We place the second finger on the second string, eighth fret, G, and the third finger on the third string, ninth fret, E, which now gives us a chord of A dominant seventh. So we're now playing. Play that again. On the third beat, uh, we drop down to the second position and we're doing a, just a partial bar chord. You only need to really cover two strings with this, um, which now gives us the open fifth string A and C sharp. And we need the bar on because on the next semi quaver uh, note on the first string, we, we'll be playing the F sharp. But before uh, before we play that, we place the second finger on G at the third fret, first string, which is now giving us another A dominant seventh chord at the second fret this time, with the added grace note. So we're placing the little finger also on the first string, fifth fret. So we now can play the fifth, second, and first strings together with our grace note. So that's a quick pull off from the A to the G. The following semi quaver is F sharp, which is covered with the bar, back to the G with the little finger, and then A um, with the little finger. I'll, I'll do that again. So it's second finger, I should have said, on the first string, third fret, and then little finger on the fifth fret. So that's. So bar five is now. And on bar six, we finish with the chord that I, I, I just played then, which is um, a partial D major chord. So we have the first finger on the first string, second fret, and the second finger on the third fret, second string, um, D, which is. We then quickly back to our D major chord at the seventh fret, just played on the uh, off beat of the on the first beat, and then back to the A dominant seventh chord. And then we repeat our so uh, bar five um, through to the first beat of bar seven is now. On the second half of the first beat in bar seven, we're moving into um, a sequence of thirds, and we're playing our first finger on the first string, fifth fret. We place the third finger on the second string, seventh fret, and we play the first two strings. We drop back a fret with both fingers, so we're now moving to your fourth fret, or, or the fourth position which now gives us G-sharp with the first finger and E-sharp um, on the second string, which then moves back up or resolves back up to the A and the F-sharp at the fifth fret. So that's... Still keeping the first and third fingers on, they now drop to um, the third position or third fret, so we have the first finger on G, on the first string, third fret, and the third finger on E at the fifth string, 
second fret. And we play that along with our open third string. Drop the third finger down to the third fret and add the second finger onto the first string, second fret F sharp. We place the first finger on the third string, first fret G sharp. So that is. And on bar eight, we move the first finger up a fret to the A on the third string, and now that gives us our D chord. And then on the second beat of bar eight, all we need to do is then play an open fifth string, put the second finger on C sharp on the second string, second fret, and have an open first string. So bar seven through to eight is So I'll play from bar five, which is starting with our D major chord in the seventh position. A dominant seventh, drop down to the second fret. Repeat. So from the beginning we have careful on bar seven as we get to the third beat you need to stop the D uh, from sounding through um, that's the fourth string so what I do I, I actually catch it with the side of the thumb so so I've now stopped that open D from sounding otherwise it'll um, overlap the G on the third beat You don't, you don't want it to sound like this. So you've still got the D ringing, which doesn't sound very good, because um, it's clashing. So we need... So as I say, I just catch that open D with the side of the thumb. Um, now that's the end of part one of this tutorial. Uh, I hope it helps you uh, to play this uh, piece, which I saw Sigovia play um, two or three times in concert as, a, um, as an encore piece. And I've always liked playing this. It's uh, quite a good, fun piece. Uh, so I'll see you on the next video on part two, and I look forward to it. So bye for now. <laughs>